Okay, can we get started with the um, Hampton Sydney press conference? Coach, you're welcome to make an opening comment, or we get straight to questions. No, I'm definitely going to make an opening comment. Yeah. Uh, very thankful to be here. Just you know, lost the game. It doesn't take away the fact that this is a really special moment. I mean, we, we don't. You know, there's probably a lot of teams that are deserving, right? Everybody says they're deserving. Of, uh, well, we should have done that. We, we've worked hard, or this and that. All teams work hard. So I want to give a lot of credit to Try and thought they an incredible run and well coached team and um, played play good enough to get it done today. But then I want to talk about my team and just how. Just how proud I am of this group because we focused in on. Look, you, you know, there's a lot of things we can't control. You know, today wasn't our day. You know, some shots didn't fall. Didn't get some things done that we typically do. Um, but we gave it our all. We've been doing that since day one. We've been trying to be the best, best that we can be each day and growing on that. And just as a coach, I mean, I could be more proud. I'm sorry, you know, it's like I wish I could put in a better position to get it done today, but I, on the other side of that, I, I mean, these guys are the absolute best, the absolute best, and the rest of those guys in the locker room, so, hey, okay, I want to make up this day, and I'm excited to be here, even though we didn't get it done. Thank you, student athletes, for uh, coming here today. Adam Brazel working away from me, Brian Clements, Davidson Hubbard, and Josiah Hardy. Thanks, guys. Uh, questions with you. Um, I don't I know it's hard at this point you didn't get where you wanted to go but are you able to look back and see how far you guys have come over these three years together and more? <laughs> yeah it's more for, for sure. Um, right now it's just kind of a numbing pain. I don't think we're really excited but um, one thing I just keep thinking about is just how I wish I could play basketball with this group forever. Um, that's all I'll say. Davidson, I wonder if you could talk about this, the environment, uh, new, new attendance record, uh, it was a really charged up environment, just talk a little bit about what it was like to play in that environment today. It was packed out gym, you know, 3,000, 4,000 people, and uh, it was a great environment to play in, that's all what we wanted, and uh, you know, just kind of, you know, couldn't get it done, but, you know, thankful to have been in this position. Um, Ryan or Josiah, what, you guys are really experienced, you've been through a lot. What are you saying to each other on the floor as the shots that normally go in aren't early on, especially? Um, just like keep shooting. Um, we keep working on every shot, uh, practice, we trust each other. Um, unfortunately, we can't, we can't control the shots going in, but we can control the shots that we take. And, I mean, and the shots in the fall, uh, we live. Coach, did um, try and do anything on defense that you didn't expect? I wouldn't say that we didn't expect, um, but it is a little bit different. You know, the way that they jump out, the way that they switch. Uh, I did think, you know, it had us off balance at times. You know, I mean, definitely credit to them. Uh, I thought they played a, a good game. I thought, um, you know, they played together in the way they scramble and move. And, you know, some of the opportunities that I think that, that we thought we would have, they were there, but they weren't quite as open, maybe as, as we thought they may be. Um, but again, I mean, I, you know, I think, yes, we were prepared, but they played really well. Caleb, just wondering what uh, getting here this weekend and everything you accomplished this season means for the program. I mean, it's a big deal. <laughs> we just played for the national championship. Um, we have to come in here pretty quickly after losing, which is tough. So I don't know that we can immediately reflect and um, you know, that I can kind of give you all this, all the great things that 
you know, we may be more reflect on down the road, but it's uh, it's been a really special journey with this group uh, and that I've been with since I've come to the school. And if, I mean, we had people that traveled and alumni and um, students and students on spring break, and students that came out and flew out here. And, uh, I, I think it shows that, that the, the culture we're building in the program is, is something that we need to continue to build upon. That's something that, that we can trust and you know, double down on, commit to. Coach, you know, they're late, obviously. It was tough shots falling today, but I was wondering if you could talk about the poise of, of your guys, especially the upperclassmen, because they hung in the fight, cut it to five late. Just thoughts on, on their approach on those offensive possessions, really defensively as well, to keep you all in, in the game. Yeah, I thought our guys did a great job. I thought there was times in the game that just as a group, as a whole, we maybe got a little bit frustrated because we thought we had a few opportunities there where um, we were putting together stops, and then and we just we, you know we just couldn't get the, the basket, um, and you now we just kept putting together stops. And so it was, we got a little frustrated in that some of the media timeouts. We really did a good job, and then these guys especially, I think they reeled me in a few times. Um, we made some good eye contact and you know, tightened up our body language, and, and then, like Joe said, we went out there and, and we controlled the things that we could control. I, I thought you know, something we've been working on all year is. Um, how do we get to the next play quickly? You know, how do we control those things? And you know, these guys were doing that all the way down to the very last play, and that, that's pretty special. I mean, I think that's why you've seen these guys have the type of success that they've had. This didn't matter throughout the year if we were up or down. Um, you know, they had that focus and that, what we call that next play, next play speed. Ryan, you're a fifth year guy. Can you talk about what this fifth year is meant to you personally? I mean, it's kind of it's a tough question right now. Just, your initial thoughts? Uh, yeah, it means a lot. Um, just, just coming back and playing with these guys, just knowing that we had a chance to do something special. Me and my two uh, other fifth year classmates, but like, I mean, yeah, the loss sucks, but you got to appreciate the journey. I mean, it took a lot to get here in over five years. I mean, we weren't great always. I mean, we weren't really great until this year, I would say, but it just took a lot to get here. So I'm just thankful for that journey with my teammates. Feel like somebody's rubbed off on the younger, younger players. Absolutely. Um, I would say our scout team has picked it up tremendously since they won the season, and I think that they have learned a lot from us, and and I think that they helped us a lot to, to get where we are today. Thank you. Anything else? Last chance. There we go. Yeah. For the students, uh, Ryan, and but all of you really, um, you've got friends who go to other colleges. You've got friends who. Uh, might not think as highly as of D3 as, as you do because of the commitment that you've made. Kind of an open-ended thing here. What would you say to somebody who's kind of, why should I go and play basketball at a D3 college? Uh, I would just say, come out your old basketball game, or just any basketball game. <laughs> you know, this year I saw several D3s beat up on D2s and even D1s. So just that their shoulders is it's not about the level, but the, but the kids that you bring into your program. Davidson, yeah, I'd say the same thing. Just you know, watch one more games, you know exactly why. Um, it's a different kind of basketball being played, and uh, it's you know, you meet the greatest guys too. And, you know, it's just that's the best, best thing ever. So. And I'm about the culture going forward. Culture going forward will be more of the same because the standards don't change, the values don't change, and um, how we operate on a daily basis won't change. The guys that we have in our program won't change. Those guys will be different, but they'll be chasing the standard of excellence, as we call it, which is being the best version of ourselves each and every day. So that's what we strive for, just to be better than we were the day before. Anything else? All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.